I'm Helen Burns, I'm New South Wales DPI Development Officer based in Wagga. Recently I've been working on a couple of projects looking at improving um, acid soils. A new project with MLA, New South Wales DPI under the MLA donor company. My big message is that you really need to start um, monitoring, measuring your soils and understanding what your soil pH profile is like before you make decisions about whether you lime. And importantly, don't forget to start measuring those soils that you think aren't acidic, but our, our work's shown that um, particularly the lighter clay soils, the red soils, there is a fair bit of acidity showing up there undetected. People have been relying on 0 to 10 and 10 to 20 centimetre soil tests to give them an indication of their acid soil status. Our work's shown that you need to be taking soils at five centimetres um, intervals to 20 centimetres to actually understand what the pH profile is like because in most soils around here I would expect that the most acid layer is 5 to 15 and those 10 centimetre intervals tend to mask that, um, or, or underestimate how acid that 5 to 15 centimetre layer is. In recent years I've been working on a couple of projects looking at um, the acid soil status of soils in particularly the mixed farming zone of New South Wales, southern and central New South Wales in particular. And um, today we've been up into the Kudal area. We've spent a little bit of time up here, but always coming across new people who haven't heard the, of the work that we've been doing. The first thing I suppose people hear about is that their soils are more acid than they expect and the lime rates they've been using haven't been enough to ameliorate that over the last 20 or 30 years since many people have started liming. You really need to understand what your soil profile is like. So the 0 to 10 centimetre, 10 to 20 centimetre soil sampling protocols that most people have been using aren't giving us that sort of information. We advocate five centimetre intervals, particularly at the beginning to understand how um, severe the acidity might be, how far down the profile the acidity is an issue and that then informs not only your species selection but also your lime rate and how aggressive you need to be in improving pH to depth. From 50 soil samples we'd say that from a 0 to 10 centimetre sample there would be say 25% of the soils that would be prioritised for lime application. When you look at it at 5 centimetre intervals that comes up to about 80%. So we really want people to start looking at the pH profiles of their soils, particularly because those soils that are just starting to show an acid layer at 5 to 15, they're likely to be some of the most productive soils. They're going to be some that have fairly high acidification rates and it's much easier and cheaper to get in and do something about that and actually address the acidity before it gets worse and moves further down the profile. We've been out working with one-on-one -on -one with farmers with small groups and once you get out in the field and you start to, we've got some tools that um, very quickly show you what pH profiles like, a dig stick and with just a store-bought colour pH indicator, um, you can very quickly show what the pH profile is like. But if you're in there, out there in the growing season, start digging up some plants from good and poor areas, you can start looking at how the pH profile is actually affecting the plant. And if, unless you're seeing those direct comparisons, a lot, of, a lot of the decline in production that we're seeing just gets put down to something else. But we're actually able to show people that the pH, um, this, the acid layers at five to 15 or whatever they are, affects the root growth, actually physically affects it, affecting your water use efficiency, nutrient use efficiency, and ultimately your production. I mean, I was taught that um, soils are just something your plants, um, that hold up your plants. In actual fact, the soil with its nutrient cycling, um, the biological processes, the plant response to the soil, that's really what people should be look in, interested in, that's, that's what's driving the system. And so if you don't understand your soils, don't understand the constraints and, and, and where there might be opportunity to improve it, then you're really missing out on opportunities to maximise your production.